Hello there. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and John Kay. Our headlines today. The afternoon. And we're stepping into the weekend in the company of high pressure. That will deliver plenty of sunny spells and a bit of blue sky for many of us. Not everyone, however, with some mist and fog patches forming over the next couple of days. I'll be back with all the details. Owine has the weather for us this morning. Hello, oh, thank morning. you both. Do you know, yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so <laughs> unused to um, being able to throw to the weather. I was like, where, 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 yeah, which absolutely. screen am I looking at? Welcome. Thank you very much both. It's lovely to be did here. Did you enjoy Did you manage to see the moon? I didn't, I'm afraid. But I have seen loads of gorgeous pictures that yeah. have been sent. We're lucky. Um, yeah, we are lucky. And keep them coming, please. Hello, everyone. Thank you for those pictures. It's uh, always lovely to see them. And uh, as they both were saying, you know, we're seeing some lovely scenes this morning. Uh, if you're able to see the moon, many of us seeing clear skies overhead, which in turn, of course, will turn into spells of sunshine and blue sky across much of the UK uh, as we head through the day today. It's a pretty quiet weather story at the moment. I'll see us. Now, on Sunday night and into Monday, we see the return of those dense mist and fog patches becoming a bit like this first thing on Monday morning, but the high pressure is nearby. Staying there through towards the middle of next week, we're keeping an eye on this feature, which may bring thicker cloud and some rain as well. But of course, I'll keep you posted. That's how it's looking both. Lovely. Thank you very much, Owen. Thank you. We're getting hundreds and hundreds of moon pictures, Are we? guys. Yes. Fabulous. Some Fabulous. of them Thank not you. quite what I was intending, but, you know, we'll get... Yeah, it, yeah. It's the moon in the sky. Yeah. Uh, time now for the week's film review. We'll see you shortly. After a year of silence, this summer could mark the start of a new dawn for festivals, even in a socially distanced world. Katie Prescott, BBC News. You a festival person? Well, yeah, I've covered Glastonbury quite a few times for work when I was much younger, <laughs> and... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite exhausting, isn't it, when you're there for a few days, so I'm really sounding old. But, uh, no, I quite like a festival. But Do you? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't? No, but I'd, abs I'd run to one. Commute in and out, yeah? I'd run to one now. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Even if you don't like it. It's uh, the beautiful sunrise there oh, at stunning. Stonehenge. A wine is here with the weather this morning. You've got the moon. Beautiful yes. moon. Yes, and we've had some gorgeous pictures both, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we're seeing these lovely kind of full moon pictures today because it is the snow moon. Uh, thank you for sending the pictures in. It's the full moon of February, essentially. It doesn't dictate what happens weather-wise, of course, but uh, keep those pictures coming. We do love seeing those. And, of course, in order to see the moon, we have to have clear skies overhead, and there will most certainly be a delivery of that for many of us across the UK, uh, both today and over the next couple of days as well. High pressures nearby, you'll see that in just a second. There's your headline for the weekend, looking good if you like dry weather and uh, in Northern Ireland as well. But it is looking like we're hanging on to that dry and settled story over the next couple of days, everyone. Chilly nights, as I said, and that mist and fog reluctant to clear. And I think it'll be more of a grey story as we look towards the start and the middle of next week. However, if we look towards the end of next week, you will notice temperatures go down a bit. So it's a long way off at the moment, but it does look like it'll cool off then as we look towards the end of next week. But of course, I'll keep you posted. That's how it's looking, you two. You say the end of next week's a long way off, and I think in lockdown, it's a long way off. Yeah, but true. usually you'd think, oh my God, goodness, time's flying, wouldn't Yeah, you? absolutely. And on Monday, I'm normally looking forward to Friday already. So, Are you? Know, you? That's how it goes, Terrible attitude. Wow, well, <laughs> I say. <laughs> oh, right, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you both. A bit of sunshine, lovely. Now it's time for Outside Source. At That's Monday at nine on BBC One and iPlayer. Welcome to MasterChef. Let's cook. A brand new set of contestants are ready to take on their most adventurous dishes. And there's not a banana bread in sight. They're about to find out just how good they really are. Does practice really make perfect? I hope that eats as well as it looks. As an amateur, <laughs> what you're doing, I'm really impressed. <laughs> the flavours on this dish are fantastic. Best thing I've eaten all day. A brand new series of MasterChef starts Monday at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast this Saturday morning with Naga Manchetti and John Kay. Our headlines today. The Chancellor warns Britain's finances face enormous strains. As befitting his rank as an honorary colonel. 
And good morning. Wales have the Six Nations triple crown in their sight. Stepping into the weekend in the company of high pressure. That will deliver plenty of sunny spells and a bit of blue sky for many of us. Not everyone, however, with some mist and fog patches forming over the next couple of days. I'll be back with all the details. Good morning. It's Saturday, the 27th of February. Our tops bring you up to date with the latest on that as the morning goes on. Lady Gaga's, <clears throat> excuse me, Lady Gaga's two French bulldogs have been returned safe and unharmed. Walker is expected to make a full recovery. And after an exhausting week, the racing driver Billy Munger has triumphantly crossed the finish line. He's in his life. But what an achievement. He was dreading that final day, wasn't he? But uh... Yeah, he was. But then he just knew what he was doing it for. So he knew that was important and that was driving him yeah. forward. So I hope he's enjoying his lying. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he is. It's 11 minutes past seven. And with us in the studio with the weather this morning is a wine. And I, we, I keep wanting to say welcome to the breakfast oh, team this thank morning. You. But you should be welcoming us because, I mean, this, this is, is your yours. home, isn't it? With well, Northwest Tonight. Yes, Northwest Tonight comes from this studio as well. It does look a bit different. Obviously, we changed the colour of the lights. Love what you've done with the place. Thank you very much. <laughs> Honestly, we put so much effort into it. You wouldn't know, Oh, darling. we don't just throw this together, No, darling. you do no, not. No, you absolutely. do not. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you both very much. And uh, thank you to you as well. Hello, everyone. Uh, now, if you like sunshine and dry weather, well, it's good news this weekend. We have an area of high pressure which is perched across the UK at present. Uh, we had a bit of a taste of this yesterday, actually, many of us enjoying some sunshine. There is some detail to add to that, however. By night, it'll turn quite cold, but I don't think it'll be quite as cold as last night. Now, over the next couple of days, we'll notice scenes like these first thing in the morning. It'll be quite grey, mist and fog, which I think will be quite reluctant to clear. But hopefully many of us seeing things brightening up with sunny spells on offer then as we uh, progress through the mornings and into the afternoon as well. And the western parts of England into Wales and Northern Ireland as well. But you know, for most of us, it's dry over the next couple of days. One mass potentially as we look towards the end of this coming week. But of course, we'll keep you posted as far as that's concerned. Keep in touch, that's how it's looking. That's how it's looking, I should say. See you soon. Oh, and thanks very much. <laughs> See you later. Thanks both. Thank you. It's nearly quarter past seven. An ice track on skates like we have tried before on breakfast. <laughs> we really fun, should but... not try that. No. 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 Great sport. I ended up just going down on my backside the whole time, which you are allowed to do. Are you? You're allowed to get That's down any way you can. It's my kind of skiing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. 7.41. Now, if you wanted to find a Womble, where'd you go? Wimbledon. Of course. Yeah. Child of the 70s, children of the 80s, Wimbledon, you would know that. Wimbledon, Wimbledon Common was the place to find a womble, but maybe not anymore. No. <laughs> what word womble always makes me laugh. Womble, womble. <laughs> you just used to call people wombles. Uh, there's a Did whole you? new set. Yeah, it's an insult. There's a whole new set of wombling <laughs> litter pickers now. They're based. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and John Kay. Our headlines today. The child. Time now is 10 minutes past eight. In seven minutes, it's going to be the perfect time to see this so-called snow moon. Oh, yeah, seven minutes, yeah. 8, 17, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's last night's full moon, of course. Um, you may have seen it then, called the snow moon. Many of you were taking advantage of clear skies. You've been sending us in your pictures. Thank you. Yeah, you've sent some stunning shots. So this one was taken by Alex in Shrewsbury, uh, the bright, slightly eerie moon, that one, isn't it? Uh, photographer Kat managed to snap this dramatic rising moon. Just there, you see. Oh, coming up over the horizon. The moment, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bottom left. Uh, the timing on this shot is incredible, isn't it? The plane. And there are not many planes to be seen at the moment, are there? It's just crossing in front of the moon there. That was taken by Tony in Hereford. Well done, Tony. Couldn't resist throwing this one in. Stunning shot of the moon above the Grand Canyon. It was taken by the National Park Service. Do keep sending your pictures in, coming into BBC Breakfast at bbc.co.uk. And our inbox is going to suddenly ping into action massively in about six, seven minutes' time at 8.17. Uh, those are your news headlines. Those are your pictures. We've got the moon and oh, and you've got, you've got sunshine for us, sunrise. Yes. Oh, I love a sunrise, you two. We're You're in the some... right place. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. We've got some gorgeous sunrise pictures coming in as well as those moon pictures that you both mentioned. Thank you very much for these. Uh, as always, many of us kicking things off this morning with some sunshine overhead. It's a cold start to the day, mind you. And this really sets us up for the rest of the day. I think many of us will tend to hang on to the uh, patches of clear sky overhead, at least. I can't promise wall to wall blue sky across the board, I'm afraid. 
but uh, many of us will be seeing that. We are tilting the balance towards something drier and something brighter this weekend. It'll at the end of next week, that's how it's looking. Owen, thank you. Now, today sees the funeral of a true national hero. National right attitude, you know, we're going to respect the game, respect the Italians, but hopefully we can put our stamp on it as well. In an hour's time, we will get the thoughts of two legends from Welsh and English rugby. Now, though, time to build up to the day's football. Manchester City have the chance to make it an incredible 20 wins in a row in all West Ham, mates. You know, they do fancy this one causing a bit of an upset today because they're on their own good run. Yeah, um, morning, Mike. I've got a little treat for you coming up as well. I think you were looking for a 20th straight win, but West Ham are up to fourth. Uh, they're playing some really good football, some excellent uh, play from the likes of Declan Rice and Thomas Suchek and this week. Talking about his uh, tactical innovations and the way that, if you follow Sheffery as well, then Heston Blumenthal is well known for things like making bacon and egg ice cream work. And say so that's the early game. We'll discuss that with our pundits, Stephen Warnock and Martin Keown. And also the Chaplin story as well. Sounds wonderful. But he is, I mean, uh, Marcello Bielsa, without going out too much about Leeds, he has completely transformed a city. And it's more about than just football. It, as a human being, mm. people you talk to in the city, wherever he goes, whether it's the supermarket or he lives above a sweet shop, the flat, wherever yeah. he goes, he talks to people, he sends people letters, personal messages. He Good really man. Has, it has become a love him, completely. He's an incredible yeah. human being. Good. That's enough from me there. Uh, so. We've got another incredible Thanks, uh, human being for you right now. Owen has the weather now. Look, you you may offer us great sunshine and cheer, but when you listen to Mark like that, that's going to give you a boost. Isn't oh it? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great story. And you know we have got some positive weather at the moment. If you like sunshine, if you like brightness, you know I've been talking about this uh, throughout the morning. It's not everywhere. We can't apply a kind of broad brush approach as far as the brightness and the sunshine goes. Though We've had some lovely weather watchers, pictures coming in of uh, mist and fog as well. So this will slowly clear today. We're not all going to see scenes like this unfolding, though, which will remain with us throughout the course of the day. Certainly turning cold as we move through towards the end of the week. That's how it's looking. See you soon. Oh, I'm thank you. Now, the natural world is full of colour, isn't it? Some of it uh, used to attract attention on different creatures. Uh, others, though, would like to blend into the background. You know, in, in these times, he's met lots of new friends and um, lots of new supporters. We've created a, a funeral that I think that he would look down on and say, good job, girls. Due to the pandemic, before his death, he'd been very clear about his wishes for... I'm using the cheapest funeral that you could. It's probably not going to cut it these days. Because um, he was always like, don't waste your money. Up to his wishes, we've kept it simple. There's eight of us. You can imagine how many people there could have been. Past nine. And the former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has said there is... Tim. The First Minister, current First Minister, denies those claims. Let Alexandra McKenzie, who's live for us in Glasgow this morning, where people are pouring over every detail. Well, this is dominating the front pages this morning. Alex Salmon spoke for six hours yesterday and it's the first time that we've heard him speak publicly for almost a year. In a couple of minutes' time, we're going to be checking with our panel, answering some of your questions about COVID, because it's been a week of all sorts of change, hasn't it, on vaccines and lockdown changes. Uh, we'll put some of those questions and try and get you some answers. Yeah, first though, let's talk to Owain, find out what's happening with Weather Morning. Hello, hello, you two. Well, things are brightening up across much of the UK. We've seen some sunshine. It's not everywhere, though. You know, we are seeing some mist and fog patches and uh, they will be quite reluctant to clear in places as well. And it's a chilly start. We saw temperatures uh, dip below freezing if we peruse the overnight lows here. You can see down to minus four uh, in some places. So, yeah, it's a chilly start to the day. And as far as our temperatures go today, we'll probably get into double figures. And for the weekend is looking pretty good, actually. If you like dry weather and if you like a bit of sunshine, that's good news. Freezing. I think looking a bit like this for some of us tomorrow morning, once more, some of that mist and fog will be quite stubborn to clear. And as with sunshine tomorrow, yes, we're going to see that, but we probably see a bit less of it. More in the way of cloud cover overhead as we head through the day tomorrow. Three days, that's how it's looking both. Get a more in-depth look in about half an hour. Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks both. Dry and bright for a few days, that's great, isn't like it? it. Uh
Tom's phone line for a little bit, but we managed to hold uh, that. I'll tell you what, the whole world of technology. <laughs> Safe journey back, Tom, as yeah. well, Thomas. Um, 14 minutes to 10 is the time. Owen is taking a look at the weather. More in-depth look ahead, but at least for now, we have some sunshine. Some of us yes, do, anyway. Yes, absolutely both. We've had some gorgeous weather watchers pictures in this morning, and I know we've had some lovely ones through to the uh, breakfast inbox as well, so thank you very much for those. Uh, we have seen some mist and fog patches, however. Um, it's one of my favourites. Thank you for this one, Alice Louise. Don't know what the dog is called, but... Always appreciate a dog in a weather photo, so thank you. Um, some blue skies, what do you two think? Do you agree? I'm yeah. completely on board. Darling, we always like a dog. Absolutely. And now darling. everybody knows how to get their picture chosen by a wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chuck a dog in it. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, over the next couple of days, what we're likely to see is some uh, chilly temperatures by night. In fact, last night we were down to minus three, minus four Celsius in places. Not quite as low as that this evening. And this is the outlook for the rest of the weekend, then. It'll be mostly dry, and that's thanks to the presence of high pressure. That, everybody, over the next couple of mornings, especially Monday, it'll be uh, pretty grey and feeling cool as well. But, of course, we'll keep you posted. That's how it's looking, you two. You didn't get a dog in that one. No, I know. What a disappointment. Just a bench. Oh, well, just a bench, Don't yeah. underestimate the power of a bench, though. A bench or a dog. Thanks so much for this morning. It's been lovely having oh, you with us. Thank you both. It's been you fabulous. enjoyed it. Thank you for making me feel so at home. I've loved it. Good. Oh, I will see you again. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing the sunshine. Now, perhaps you are a fan of the detective drama McDonald and Dodds. And if you ask the kids about Captain Sir Tom Moore, do you know what they say? He's the best. Courage, optimism and joyous ways really saved the day. So we will forever... Salute you. Salute you. Salute you. Salute you.